hello and welcome to my my last video blog for the uh, for this calendar year and the feedback that i've got from you over the course of the year is actually you prefer me to do it this way um i think people find it a little bit easier to sort of retain the information rather than it being wrote down on a letter uh, and also you get the opportunity to to watch the video with your child next to you so that you're both getting the same message at the same time so uh, really there's, there's two things i want to do today um, first of all i just want to sort of reflect on the year we've had just to revisit and, and sort of remind ourselves really what we've gone through uh, together as an organization and to look forward to next year to see some of the things that, uh, that we can look forward to next year some of the things that are are changing or, or returning in some cases um, so apologies if I keep sort of glancing down I've got my notes in front of me and there's, there's quite a lot to go through today but hopefully this should only take 10-15 minutes so first of all just a, a huge thank you to all of your support for this year obviously it's been a it's been a very different year um, I think back to the very first term where we welcomed all of our students back in September albeit into a school that felt very differently uh, felt very different sorry from previous years with year group bubbles, with one-way systems, with blocked timetables, with year groups using different social zones. It, it felt very different. And I suppose one of my biggest uh, regrets isn't the right word, but one of the biggest disappointments of this year is we've not been able to um, welcome our new students in in the way that we normally do. And we've not been able to, to combine the year groups and, and really create that cross year group family feel that we really pride ourselves on at the UTC. And, and I hope that next year we'll be in a situation where we can start to do that more and more. Um, and, and again, you know, just a reminder back in that first term, a huge thank you to, to the way that the, the new students and the existing students came back into education, because by that point, everybody had been out of education for about four or five months. Um, and just, I was really proud of the way students came back in and, and a sort of approached and attacked their learning um, with real gusto. Um, and obviously the disappointment then that when we came back after Christmas, we went straight back into a, into a lockdown situation where we went back to virtual learning. However, you know, we have to take the positives from that. We have to look at just how well uh, the students and staff managed that situation. The, the attendance that we had to our online learning was absolutely fantastic and, and well above some of the figures we were seeing reported nationally and um, so again I, I'm really pleased with the the engagement with session three and the fact that we try to do things differently we try to keep that unique UTC-ness to what we were doing um, and then again moving into to, into the third term where we came back into school but we came back into school with a requirement to be tested on site you know something I never thought I'd see in my days as a teacher is a, is a medical testing facility needing to be set up on my school premises. So the, the way in which you know, a team of my staff sort of volunteered to, to support our students with this and the way that the students came on and again, sort of just took it in their stride in the mature, respectful, responsible manner that we'd hope to see from UTC students. You know, a, a term three in which it was announced halfway through the term that the, the exams wouldn't be happening again and instead we'll be looking at teacher assessed grades, the, the way that the students and staff took that in their stride, worked with each other to make sure that we maximise the opportunities for our young people that are leaving us at the end of year 11 and year 13. Hopefully we'll be seeing lots of our year 11s coming back again in sixth form in September. A year which, uh, a year which in, included the inclusion of a, of a year seven cohort from, from this September. So obviously we had our year nines for the first time ever at UTC this year um, and we know now that we are going to get year sevens as well for the first time ever in September really really pleased to, to report that we were oversubscribed even though we only found out in June that this was going to be the case really pleased that actually we ended up with uh, with about 20 percent oversubscription to that so um, you know fingers crossed we, we welcome these year sevens in and I can't wait to get them on board um, also in term three, we announced our merger with the Cambridge Meridian Academies Trust and we've, we've got on board with those. And again, the opportunities that gives to my students and to my staff, it just broadens our opportunity to expose students to, to you know, to many more opportunities, both locally and, and also sort of the wider field as well. So really, really pleased with that. There's been some really positive stories over this year. There's been some really fantastic achievements, both on a, an individual student level and on a school level 
Um, I'm so proud of the fact our attendance has been absolutely outstanding, even in these difficult times. And again, well, well above sort of what we're seeing nationally. Um, you know, our, stu our, our attendance for students has hardly dipped at all compared to previous years. Obviously, there have been you know, sad situations where year groups have had to go home. But actually, compared to, to other schools locally and nationally, the UTC, um, you know, we've, we've barely seen that. You know, I'm, I'm aware of other schools where almost every week they are being impacted by this. Now, you know, fortunately, we can probably count on two hands since way back in September, you know, that the impact this has had on year groups. It's never great. It's never an easy decision when we have to make these decisions. But, but ultimately, we hope it's keeping these young people safe and keeping their families safe. Other positive news stories. Um, way back in term one, a team of students from the UTC took part in the National Royal Navy Engineering Challenge. And I'm so, so pleased that we ended up winning the whole tournament. So, uh, you know, again, a massive congratulations to those guys. Really, really proud to say that Pete, the UTC is officially the, uh, the National Royal Navy Engineering Champions. Uh, and very recently, only a few weeks ago, a team of six formers took part in the uh, Callisto Moon Base Challenge. Again, another national challenge run by the, the National Department of Science and Innovation. Uh, and we were very, very unfortunate not to win that one, but we did come in as runners up. So a huge congratulations. And again, this is testament to the students' commitment to these STEM subjects. Um, you know, this, this, is what, this is what we want our students to be able to, to achieve. These are the types of things we want our students to have exposure to. This is why you come to a UTC. And again, one of the biggest disappointments of this year is the fact we've not been able to do lots of this stuff. You know, in a typical UTC year, these sorts of things are going on all the time. And it's just a shame that the, uh, the opportunities for our students have been limited this year. But let's hope next year we're able to go back to, to what we do and hopefully we can win a few more trophies. Um, moving, on to, uh, moving on to the summer, uh, there's, there's a few messages from our welfare team that I'd like to pass forward. Um, please do look at our website over the summer. There's lots of resources in regard to, to, to welfare support. Um, there is a whole section on the website. So if at any point over the summer you do need some support, um, please do look at our website because there's lots of, uh, lots of links to the various services that you can use. Likewise, if you are the, the parent of a student um, of a child with free school meals, um, the, the voucher scheme is carrying on over the summer. And again, we'll be in touch to talk about how those vouchers can be claimed. Um, and the key stage three, four and five bursaries, that window is now open for September. And again, there's a section on the website there where you can fill those bursary requests in. Uh, and that can be from anything from transport to, to uniform to, to any sort of equipment needs. And um, all the criteria for eligibility is on the website. Uh, and again, that is available from students right from year seven, right through to year 13. So please do have a look on the website and see if you are eligible for that. Um, reminder again, over the, result, over the summer, we've got our results days. So on uh, for year 13s, it is the, uh, the 10th of August and the school opens at eight o'clock and will stay open until about midday. Um, and for year 11s, uh, that is the 12th of August uh, and we open at nine o'clock. And again, we'll stay open until about midday to give out those certificates to, to be on hand to provide careers advice and support uh, and to celebrate with you, you know, hopefully some, some fantastic outcomes. Uh, and I'm sure knowing the two amazing year groups that we've had in 11 and 13, that will absolutely be the case. You know, um, with regards to the summer, you know, of course, I want people to relax and recuperate. But at the same time, there's a real need um, for students where possible and where appropriate to, to sort of keep their minds active, keep their minds ticking over. For our year nine and year 10 students, you know, they have got the TASMI um, details. That's English, maths and science revision that they can do over the summer. The, the details for how that works, how you log on, your login details, that's going to be provided very shortly with your end of year report. So students will be still bringing an end of year report home this week and attached to that for year nines and tens will be how they can access TASMA over the summer. Obviously for year 12 students moving into year 13 or even for year 11 students wanting to come back into sixth form, we'll be communicating with you separately, um, you know, what our expectations are, um, you know, what would benefit you immensely um, prior to coming back in September. Uh, a couple of things that were bound to change, um, as we come back in September, we hope we come back into a world where, where social distancing, where face masks, where our one-way system, where all of these things are, are removed. Clearly, at the moment, that is up in the air a little bit. But as it stands, it is our intention to revert back to 
our typical uniform policy. Um, the main change on that is the need for male students to wear ties. You know, that was something that we removed this year. Um, but certainly if we do come back into a, into a world where face masks are not compulsory, then we do expect students to, to wear ties again. Um, and the other main change is the PE kit. Now, normally we insist on a blue polo shirt. You can get the UTC branded ones with your initials on the, on the chest. And again, they are available through a link on our website. But if not, then the expectation is for a navy blue polo shirt to be worn for boys and girls for all PE lessons. Again, this year we relaxed that slightly uh, and we did let students wear a variety of colours. We go back to the requirement to wear blue polo shirts in, in September. Um, also for students that are uh, requiring trans transport, then uh, again, please try and get that in by the end of this week. If not, then the, the email address you need to use is transport at gputc.org. So um, one important thing to note is when we merged with CMAT, our, our emails did change slightly. Um, however, if you do accidentally use one of our old email accounts, it will still pull through, but there are some new ones. So transport at gputc.org is the email address if you have got queries around either the stagecoach or the Peterborough College buses. The, uh, the plan for September return that I've just mentioned, the, the most significant update I can give you is our term dates are published. Um, and you know we were, we were intending and we are intending to bring students back in um, on either Friday the 3rd of September or week commencing the, the 6th of September. And the reason we are not at this stage in a position to tell you what that first week looks like is you've probably noticed that last week, the government decided to announce that schools again are expected to, uh, to test students that give consent twice in the first five days of their return. Now, obviously we, we'd not planned for this. The testing site that we had um, in school has been disbanded. So myself and my vice principal, we need to get our heads together and we need to look at how this is going to work and um, when this is going to happen. We need to look at how we can communicate with you with regards to gathering consent if you want to give that. Again, consent isn't um, compulsory, but for those that give consent, it's how we get these students in and how we get them tested. Uh, therefore, what I will be doing is communicating with you again sometime during the summer holidays. It will probably be week commencing the, the 9th of August. It will probably be around the, the results day week um, that I'll be back in the office full time for that week. Um, and I'll be communicating out to you what that first week looks like. So please do watch this space. We will be communicating with you what that looks like. But again, despite that, our term days will stay the same. There may just be some flexibility around the first couple of days in terms of how many students that we need to get into test and how we actually manage that in a, in a safe manner. Um, we do have some staff leaving us this year. Um, we have got uh, Emma Hollywood, who is our business teacher uh, and also one of my head of faculties. Emma and her family are relocating back to Ireland. And um, so again, I know we're going to do a little something for Emma on Friday, but you know, I'm sure you will, uh, you will share my wishes for Emma and, and her family in, in their new adventures back over in Ireland. Um, and I won't name them, but we have a number of new staff joining us in September. Um, and the reason I won't name them is because we've got nine new staff. Uh, we've got a whole new year 17. We've got some new science teachers joining us, uh, but we've also got a couple of vacancies still. And um, so these guys are going to join us all in September. So, you know, it's really exciting as the school continues to grow. For the first time ever, we are going to have over 400 students at the UTC. Now, when I took over as principal three years ago now, we, we had 200 and something students, you know, I'm really proud that in, in two, sorry, three, God, it feels like two, three short years, um, we have doubled the amount of students that we've got on roll and that we are confident by September next year, we will probably be at capacity and oversubscribed in nearly every single year group. And again, that's a real testament, not just to, to the work that the, the staff have done in getting us there, but very, very much so to the students that, that have helped us on our journey. You know, I'm very, very proud every day of the students we've got at our school uh, and I'm really, really pleased that, that we can continue to support them next year. Uh, and hopefully, certainly for students that joined us new this year, they will really get to see what a UTC is about. Uh, and, and again, you can see down the side of my screen now all of those amazing sponsors and employee partners that we have who I know are chomping at the bit to get in and see our students. Last week was amazing. We had Marshall Aerospace in that spoke to every single student. We had three full days 
of workshops and seminars where our students finally got to work with one of our sponsors. I know Anglia Water have been in this week working again with our sixth form. We're starting to see again what a UTC can be about and what the Peterborough UTC can deliver. Uh, and I really, really look forward to next year when that becomes the norm again, not the exception. Um, and, and there may be more that needs to, to be communicated, but, but at this point, that's it for myself. Um, you know, all, all that remains to be said really is have a wonderful summer. Um, please do stay safe and get out and enjoy the, uh, the British countryside. If you are lucky enough to be going abroad again, you know, I hope you have a fantastic time. Um, read books, play sport, you know, keep yourself fit and healthy. Keep your mind ticking over and, uh, and I look forward to seeing you in September. Take care. Thank you.